Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West, not Zero Dawn. Um, <laughs> I almost said it, I'm gonna say it at some point. They all have their secrets, but every place is different. Oh. Oh! Oh, is it showing me how to climb? Ancient supply. Okay, okay. Oh shoot, what's up here? I think she runs a little faster. Ancient toothpick gets the keys. Oh no, that's ancient chimes, ancient chimes. Oh, what is it? I want to see, it's so funny. See, this game is actually like an anthropological, like archeological, like dream. Um, seeing how people would interpret the world long after like our modern society is gone and like how almost essentially like an entirely new people would interpret like any, any of the ruins or whatever we left behind. Um, like they call these ancient chimes um and this is an ancient toothpick and it's just a multi-tool you know um, but they have different interpretations also if you do the collections in horizon zero dawn the cup guy um he um he seems to he has like those are scholars have a variety of ideas of what these are used for um but i think they're you know beard part of like a beard cleaning ritual or something i don't know it was really funny and uh and he, she's like, oh, or they could just be to drink out of. And he's like, preposterous. These are ritual items. So it's interesting, right? Like in archaeology, we still have to deal with that. To like even now, in my job currently, you know, like we have to deal with um, whether or not certain items that we find, whether or not we should ascribe a religious or like a ritualistic uh, purpose to them. Because sometimes it's kind of a default answer that people say when they don't know what it's for, like uh, like any sort of like tool or something that they find or come across, or like a, an arrangement of like artifacts or living spaces they're like hmm, yes this must be a ritualistic significance and that's basically just saying kind of in like code is saying we don't know what it is or what it's for or why they did it that way to be fair some things we can probably ascribe a religious or relig ritual nature to you know it's not like you know it's not like they didn't have that back in the day obviously like it's been a very very long running thing in human society um but it can be ascribed to rock art in particular, which, you know, some tribes, and I'm speaking like Native Native American stuff, that's what I know about. Anything else I know about the rest of the world is very vague, um, honestly. And even my knowledge about like Ameri like Native American stuff is pretty vague at best. Um, at least I, I feel like it is. I can always improve. Um, but anyway, I don't know where I was going with that, but <laughs> uh, I kind of do. Um, just that like... There, this has been going on for a long time. I know I told, I, t I kind of lost the train of thought after that, but like this, you know, religious and ritualistic stuff has gone on. Oh, rock art, that's right. Rock art. Um, some tribes do. Like, they're like, hey, these are the meaning, this is the meaning of like certain motifs and symbols, you know, and themes in in rock art. And it's like, well, okay, that makes sense, you know? Um, and sometimes I have seen rock art where like, I will look at the lines that it makes and I will look at the horizon and the horizon line matches the shape of those lines, right? And it's really, really cool. So it's like a, maybe a map. That's what some people say, like, you know, like, or like good hunting here or like a map of the area and like a map of where they live, you know, or something like that, you know, interesting stuff like that. Um, and the archaeology and anthropology is about making educated guesses, you know, and a lot of times we don't have definitive knowledge of certain things, you know, and so you just, you kind of got to make guesses, make good guesses, but sometimes people are a little too eager to be like, this rock art with a bunch of lines and hash marks is a picture of the cosmos and inscribes the great religious like calm down it's probably just somebody who was bored or something you know what i mean like because graffiti is a long-running thing i mean pompeii is a really great example of like it's like hmm, yes what does this like what did the ancients have to say and it's like you know benny was here or something you know or like john's a dick <laughs> or something like uh so you know like some things do have ritualistic significance and some things don't you just have to be careful or at least leave an open interpretation you know like here's what we think it might be but here's some other options and there's you know anyway i'm sorry i, I do go off on the, the good old archaeology rant sometimes i don't know what i was even looking for what am i doing oh i was looking at the ancient chimes that's right <laughs> Uh, where do I want to get a jump? Where do I do the jump? Oh, that's right, that's where it was. And I was going this way. Whoa. That machine we 
saw Oh my gosh, I forgot about that. Oh my gosh. No, so we do get to fight that. I have seen that. That is a, that is a fight we get to do in the beginning of the game. And it's gnarly. I didn't see too much of the fight, but I did see that you get to fight it. And obviously you get to fight it, right? <laughs> Like, they wouldn't showcase, like, a teeny bit of it like that and be like, oh, you never see it again, you know? Like, what a, what a lame, <laughs> like, like... It's a big storm picking up out there. Oh, Yeah. And they're getting stronger. And more frequent. Global... Uh, so the storms, the blighted lands, the change. rivers and lakes choked with algae. You were born to fix all that? Yeah, but I can only do it if I find that backup. She was. I think we're winding our way around to the data center. It's so like it's so interesting the way that they've that like big building on the right out there. They they've used like the chosen one motif, right? Where it's like Hey Varl. There's data here. You scan it with your focus. Not that. Oh, what's the name on here? Is that Pharaoh? I will lose my mind if it is. I don't think it is, but it's something. It's similar, but... Oh, you know. Sorry, I was distracted. Yeah. Hmm. This data mentions the tech that Far Zenith traded with Zero Dawn. <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah! We read about that. We read about that in the last game. Um, High Council Executive. Summary negotiations with representatives from Zero Dawn have concluded, and I am exceptionally pleased to that we've arrived at a mutually profitable agreement. Profitable, seeing... It shows that sugar usually does go down better than salt in contrast to the less tactful recommendations of certain of our more reactionary members. In short, Far Zenith will provide a copy of the prototype Homer archive already sent. Um, what was the Homer archive? It has to be like something about writing. 500 ectogenic chambers to be retrieved from storage at our Ninma facility. Supplementary ectogenesis research reports. I'm just gonna double check. I, I think ecto, I mean, g genesis, right, is like a creation, or like, you know what I mean? But it's like ectogenesis is like, a, like cryogenic, it's got something to do with like, uh, with like reproducing, I, I'm sorry. I know it's like, what is the word I'm trying to think of, like zygotes and cells and stuff like that. Like the recreation from like, a, basically test tube babies. Um, ectogenesis is the growth of an organism in an inner, in an artificial environment outside the body. Yes. Such as the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so ecto is out. Yeah, ecto is out. And then genesis is creation. So it's like an outwards creation, like outside of like a normal, like, womb type thing. Um, blah, blah, blah. In exchange, Far Zenith will receive a copy of the alpha build of Apollo! I freaking hope we can find that. And in the week prior to the od Odyssey's launch, by our estimates of Zero Dawn's timeline, that by then it should be a near complete repository of human knowledge. I think it was, but specifically, Dr. Sobek, yeah, it should be noted that Dr. Sobek was very reluctant to agree to this, but I drew the line in the sand, making it clear that this was a non negotiable term. As our faithful media representative, I will continue to run all public communications with Dr. Sobek's team. Well, blah, blah, blah. Who said this? It doesn't say who's saying this. I was actually curious to who. Like, what kind of names are we going to be getting? Um, yes, in Horizon Zero Dawn, um, Elizabeth Sobek specifically says in a recording to Gaia that she was very, I think it was a recording to Gaia, that she was um, uneasy because the, the alpha copy of Apollo that they gave doesn't have the same, uh, like, fail failsafe mechanisms and uh, like basically i think it has all the data but it doesn't have the same like fail safe mechanisms that would prevent um oh my gosh there's that rock art in the background of this but it's like done in the shape of the design of like the the the, the digital the digital stuff we see through the focus but it's like and it's like that same design but it's like scratched into the rock oh my gosh it's like, it's people reacting to, like, stuff that they may see in these ruins, you know? Like, obviously it was important to the ancients, at least according to their, like, the people, the newer people's interpretation. So they, like, engrave it on the rock with, per perhaps through their own lens of interpretation of it. Oh, layers! Oh my gosh, I love these games! If I was, I wish I was a better archaeologist, honestly. <laughs> because then I could like, do way better analyses of this kind of stuff. It would be super cool. Explain how they got you could write whole theses. I'll keep an eye out for more data. You could write whole theses on this. 
Let's see. Huh. A lot of glyphs. I'll tuck this away to study later. You're not gonna read it right now? Um, anyway, the, the copy of Apollo that they, they have might... I think there was like something... There was something else. It wasn't just fail-saves. It was like, it may... It may react adversely. Looks like we've gotta climb up. Press R3 to focus on handholds. Perfect. What? I'm distracted. Go the other way. <laughs> well, it is a thousand years old. A thousand years, because it took Gaia about three hundred and some years to be Looks able like to. Some kind of meeting room. A door on the other side's locked. To be able to. There's another one of those glowing things by the mm -hmm, table. Mm -hmm. uh, to be able to crack the code that of the evil machines, the Pharaoh plague. Plague be upon him. Maybe that thing at the table does something. I, I'm looking around. Plague be upon him and all his endeavors. <laughs> oh, the most despicable man. Although, this game might give me another man that I find more despicable, but I doubt it. Onzu. The Zero Dawn terraforming system. The brainchild of Dr. Elizabeth Sobek. Empowered by nine subordinate functions. How? Gaia, the core of the system is capable of advanced planetary engineering an obvious advantage to our space colonization how do they know this stuff operation phase one establish an asset within project oh. zero dawn status complete phase two the asset will secretly beam cast a complete copy of gaia and her subordinate functions to this facility's data how center. could you do that if all goes well zero dawn staff will remain completely unaware of the transmission risks Discovery of this operation could result in Zero Dawn withholding the already negotiated Apollo database. Special care must be taken not to alert Travis Tate, mm -hmm. the expert hacker in charge of Hades protocol. In addition, I remember him. Extreme caution must be exercised in regards to Dr. Sobek herself. As one of the world's preeminent technologists, he sees it. she may have instituted unforeseen security measures. A complete assessment is attached. This concludes the executive summary. He sees the similarities. I thought Elizabeth sent the backup here, but she didn't. Far Zenith stole Gaia. He has no Aloy, idea. Why does that woman look like you? Uh, um, it's okay, Paul. We look alike because we're the exact same, genetically identical. But she was one of the old ones. How can you be her? She's her own. Because I wasn't Oh, born. this is a moment. I was made by a machine. It's why I'm motherless, why I was cast out as an infant. I don't understand. What kind of machine can make a person? He doesn't even know what guy Remember is. Remember when I said the backup is like a set of instructions? It's... More than that, it's called Gaia. And for a long time, she cared for the world until she had to destroy herself. So she made me to bring her back. I'm the only one who can. And this place is my last hope. You once said the goddess spoke to you when you went into All Mother Mountain. Was that this? Gaia? Yes, but she's oh, not the no. goddess, Moral. There isn't one. How can you be sure? It sounds like she anointed you with a sacred task. <sighs> I've had a lot of time to figure this out. And you will too, with the focus. But for now, the report said they were going to store the stolen copy of Gaia in the data center. So that's where we have to go. Okay? I mean... You could equate her with a goddess. She's she's a creation person. You know, she is I mean she is named after the mother you know, Mother Earth goddess, you know. They all have the names. Not not that they know that. Intel update. Esteemed members of the high what is this? High court? Oh my gosh. 
latest intelligence. Blah, 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 blah. Who is from F. Yahyu? Yahyu? Oh, that's that's too many vowels for me to pronounce correctly. I apologize. Um. All sources indicate Dr. Sobex continues to work obsessively on Gaia's development, pushing herself to psychological and physical exhaustion. Despite managing a large team, our sources know that she spends most of her time in isolation, which is consistent with her previously documented habits detailed fully in her main file. Conclusions, Dr. Sobek remains unaware of Project Anzu. Sources will continue monitoring for any changes in behavior. Terrell! Mr. Farrell continues to exhibit extreme guilt and psychological instability. His savior complex, detailed in his main file, renders him incapable of dealing with his culpability for the impending extinction of the life on earth he freaking <laughs> oh this man he not only oh made an entire race of like freaking machines that eat biomaterial and can replicate on their own without any sort of fail safe he can't even take responsibility for it and then he tries to destroy the apollo there's so much well, his attention is largely preoccupied with the construction of Thebes. Isn't, I think that's where he was, like, wanting to, like, his palace at the end. Which I am of the mindset that we should have, once everything was done, chucked him out. And had him be one of the last humans to walk on the planet and get destroyed by a machine. It was only fair. So, billions. The entire human race was eradicated because of one man and his hubris. And sure, he had people helping him. You know, doing what he said. But they were doing what he said. And I think... I freaking and Elizabeth. I'm so I was so mad that they even let him have a place to like hide away in, like because he could get in. He was not and he, he was he was a moron, but like he had enough tech savvy skills to be able to get in somehow through like he made a back door into the systems of um the alpha people or whoever the people in charge of the you know the different like subordinate functions of Gaia, um, and was able to kill them and destroy Apollo. Like, there was supposed to be so many fail-safes to not allow this to happen. Where, like, he could have corrupted any number of things. Like, he could have destroyed the entire project. You know, like, he could have destroyed everything. He should not have been able... They should have been monitoring... And I know when Elizabeth Sobek died, like, they kind of just tried to put him away and not think about him anymore. But, like, honestly, that man should have been chucked out into the wasteland and forced to look at what he had done. Like, I don't, I don't, that's the only fair thing to me. Yeah, justice without mercy is, like, cruel sometimes. But, like, yeah, it's the only thing that's fair. It's not even fair. It's not even close to fair. His one death does not, like, you know, outweigh the billions and billions of people who died. And the sentient creatures that died. And the whole planet. Anyway, I'm gonna stop. <sighs> this is not Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, mm-hmm. He recently coerced Hank Shaw into installing a severe backdoor into the Zero Dawn system capable of the superseding Alpha Authority. <sighs> Hank Shaw, I think that that is something that comes up. I think I missed it this go round. I'm pretty sure in Horizon Zero Dawn there is a text file you can find, um, or like an audio file or something that tells you about the backdoor. But that was, it's been a long time since I played that, that original run, and I did miss some of the files um, on the second go run on my, go run on my new game plus. It's unclear whether what Mr. Farrow. Also, they, I can't believe they didn't say it. I can't believe that freaking Farzine didn't warn them, but apparently they're very antagonistic. Even with like the fate of humanity at risk, everyone's like, mm, no, they're getting all like freaking, ac freaking academic and like corporate about it. Like, mm, no, our business interests and my sources. And it's unclear what Mr. Farrow intends to accomplish with this, but while it may pose a risk on the line to Zero Dawn's success, it should not impact Anzu's goals. Oh my gosh, it's irrelevant to Farzine's aims. No further action necessary. <sighs> the latest checking with Mr. Shaw confirms he's continuing work in his role as Project Beta of the Hades subordinate function and his connections to our organization have gone undetected. So he's the guy, he's the mole. He has demanded premium and accommodations for his birth on the Odyssey, which was agreed to. Conclusions, Mr. Shaw is on target to deliver a copy of Gaia. At the transmission, he'll be removed from the equation prior, oh my gosh, removed from the equation prior to the Odyssey's launch. Refer to, they're gonna murder him? They're not even gonna let him, they're not even gonna let him live. Oh my gosh, these people are way, way more. Like, no wonder they don't get along with Elizabeth Sobek above all. And this is why, in the end, I think Ted Farrow didn't, wasn't tossed out on his ass. Um, was that above all, Elizabeth Sobek respects life. And it doesn't just toss it away like that. She really, she cared for her people. She cared for, cared for people in general. She cared for the planet to such a degree that, like, she... I mean, she dedicated her whole, the end of her life to it, you know what I mean? Um, but, so I can see why she wouldn't get along with these people. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> at all. Um, Hank Shaw. I feel like I'm, I must have read something from him before, but maybe not. Um, the name Anzu also rings a bell. I know I played a game called Abzu, which was a really beautiful, gorgeous game. And I think it was like an Indian term, like a Hindi term, but I could be totally wrong on that. Um, but I wonder if they're related, Anzu and Abzu. Um, anyway. God dang, these guys were just vicious. Also, whereas like Project Zero Dawn, or you know, the Gaia and all that stuff, was like supposed to be like, like the preservation of like the future of humanity. Like, these people are just wanting to like save their own butts. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, they have like the, the ectogenic stuff going on too, but like they just want to save themselves. Like, they don't want to save anybody else really. I think, I mean, they want Apollo. Like, they want to have access to like the total sum of human knowledge and the terraforming stuff um but that back door the fact that it's through hades is wild too because tate that guy tate travis tate like you read about him a lot and you hear his voice in horizon zero dawn and he is like he's like a he's kind of a wild card guy but he's like the best hacker on the planet or whatever um so that's pretty crazy and no wonder it's the through hades like stuff's been corrupted now like the hades function has been corrupted now also to be fair the hades function was to you know destroy if the terraforming function like got like the terraforming stuff went out of control and like created like the wrong things um imbalances um the hades function was supposed to like be able to start over from ground zero without totally taking over anyway i'm sorry i talked too much huh look at that what? aloy over here i found something you could use what what a weapon. Oh. What? Thanks, Merle. What, what is it? We should keep moving. What is it? After you. What is it? Fuck, fuck. What? Oh, what? How did you find that? Uh, this is one of those weapons that I never used. <laughs> also, just give me this sling. Oh, this is a green one, so the next blast sling we get will, will be other stuff, probably. Like the upgrade. We won't have to get, like, a blast sling for every... Um, element type, I assume. But I never used it. I tried a little bit in the new game plus, just not my style. I don't like the way it. I don't like the way it handles. Down here. Ooh, I'm trying to, trying to. Can I? It said to drop the ledge. Can I? There we go. Are you gonna let me? Let me do. Okay. Ancient supply box. It's somebody's lunchbox full of. I think we're almost back outside. Full of explosives. Good. <sighs> Farrell's gonna be angry with me, isn't he? I know. In some of the videos, they were. In the direction we're going. Great. Um, there is something in the like I watched some of the videos where they were like talking about the characters um, that are going to be in Horizon Forbidden West, and um, they do say that Varl is a bit miffed. Also, machines. I could try a new weapon on it. Okay. Uh, Varl's okay. Maybe this will handle better this time. Varl's a bit miffed that we left him behind. <laughs> Oh, I'm not done. I'm not done. Oh, if you were damaged to it while it's riddle. Gotcha! Machine couldn't take the cold. Mm-hmm. All the awesome Delvers. And a lot of acid. That big machine must have attacked as they tried to escape. I don't see any more machines. No, not against that. Not against a giant acid snake. Can I loot the body? So, you said this backup is oh. the last hope. Yeah. All those places I've been these last few months, there were supposed to be more backups. But a thousand oh. years ago, a guy named. Had failed. Was he part of Farzenith too? No, it's just a cow. No. 
he was worse. Yeah. Oops. Um, how do I... Oh. <gasps> Looks like we can cross over here. Oh my gosh, let me swim. <laughs> um... The jumping feels better, too. Ooh, can I... No? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Definitely in the promotional material, I saw the San Francisco Bridge, which I'm looking forward to seeing, because the San Francisco Bridge always features in stuff like this. I try to... Okay, the, the crouching the ledge thing isn't working very well. Oh, what was that? What was that? What was... What was that? I have no idea how to recreate that. I don't know what I just did. It was like a weird slide glitch. I'm trying to slide now and I can't. Like, it's just... That was... That was what was what. Okay, well... That was cool. If I could figure out how to do that again, I could glitch the game out. That'd be great. But this lighting is driving me nuts. Like, I get it. Sun dappled woohoo, but... Look at this water. I judge every game I play according to its water texture. And like, fish! There's fish! Oh my gosh, the light. The light. Okay, this is annoying. Like, I get it, the sun is moving, but oh my gosh, this is... Oh good, I can climb a little better. Um, I'm gonna distract This way? Why do I want to go that way? I, I don't think I do. Oh, there's a lot of... Oh. I want to go this way, though. For the main mission, at least. Am I below the San Francisco Bridge? Golden Gate Bridge. I don't know why I'm calling it San Francisco Bridge. Am I below the Golden Gate Bridge? There's no way. Oh my gosh. I'm probably no I'm not. We just left the facility. Wow. That big metal thing looks like oh, the awesome. ship you saw back in the auditorium. Machines tore right through. Imagine going up to the stars. These guys couldn't catch a break. <laughs> yeah, no. Um is this because I, I saw when Aloy looked out, because we're at like a I think like a either a showcasing yard or like a build yard because I saw like a spaceship outline like a like an like a real spaceship Machines patrolling ahead. not like a UFO one we can tag them in a focus to keep track of them Weak to corrupt. So do we have corruption again? And ice. I want. I want. Freaking. Tear blast arrows back ASAP. Oh no. Well, before we get into all this exciting stuff. Also, side note. I do love that when you go into this pause screen, the music continues to play. In the last game, it didn't, and it was kind of weird. Like, you'd go into this screen, and it just all sound would cease, and it was a little weird. Um, and I'm spoiled by, um, Ghost of Tsushima, where, like, when you go into photo mode, it still has, like, motion, and, like, if you want it to, it can have motion, and, um, and music, and stuff, which is super cool. Um, anyway, love that game, love this game, love all the games. Um, thank you all so much for watching, I really appreciate it. Um, let me really quick thank my patrons. Um, oh, also, well, no, I was gonna say, I guess I'll say it. Um, if anybody does become a patron in the next little bit, please be aware that I am recording these ahead of time, so I may not get to add your name vocally to the list, um, but I should be able to add it to the written list, um, just on the off chance. If anybody does hop in and then is like, I didn't get a shout out, I will do my best to get those in. Um, when I next do a recording session. <laughs> um, anyway, thank you to my patrons that I have, who are the just the greatest, honestly. Thank you so much for your support. Um, especially to my sapling tier patron, Miskalito. Thank you so much for your support. And my tree tier patron, Christopher. Thank you so much for being the super bestest. If you want a different 
title than super bestest let me know <laughs> but i do appreciate it and i mean it so uh, anyway thank you all so much for watching i appreciate it and i hope to see you in the next one